one of the most high profile fighters in the entire sport of boxing, Javante Tank Davis takes on formidable challenger Frank the Ghost Martin over in Las Vegas on Saturday night. Arguably his most dangerous opponent to date as well. And what should really be an interesting fight this weekend. Um, Davis goes off as the prohibitive minus 650 favorite ahead of this one with Frank Martin coming back at a pretty consensus plus 475 or thereabouts. Although I've seen these lines already. If you shop around, I've seen lines as high as plus 530 on Frank Martin, which is frankly a bit ridiculous uh, in my mind on a fight that I expect at least to be a lot closer than anticipated. Um, I'm going to go straight back into it here. Uh, before I get into a best bet, I just want to mention Euro 2024 um, has kicked off on Friday, runs all the way through until July 14th. So plenty of action still left to play a full month of soccer ahead. And you can get myself and Carmine's full tournament soccer package. And a buy one, get one free special offer does exactly what it says on the tin. Pick up either mine or Carmine's full tournament Euro 2024 package and get the other one added completely free at no extra cost. Great time to jump on board. Uh, I was number one in UEFA total profit this season and Carmine's wager talks all time tournament soccer later. So make sure and take advantage of that. Back to the best bet in this one. Very quick turnaround here. Uh, I just can't get on board. With these odds at all um i already fired on this play when frank martin opened up at plus 450 and to see it now go all the way up to around plus 475 plus 490 like i said even plus 530 at some books uh it's pretty incredible to me you know this is no slight on javante davis obviously um you know i haven't personally rated as one of the best in the sport and um, he's definitely elite he cashed my biggest boxing battle last year um, alongside Terence Crawford against Errol Spence, you know, when he stopped Brian Garcia, which I believe was around minus 150 or so, uh, if I think back. And, uh, you know, that line should have been a lot higher. Uh, absolutely night and day skill wise gap between Javante Davis and Ryan Garcia, especially a weight drained Ryan Garcia as well. But, you know, just like the books kind of overreacted to the public narrative ahead of that fight, I believe they're doing so again in this one. And they're really not giving Frank Martin. Uh, the respect he deserves. You know, both of these fighters held a pretty, you know, infamous sparring session not too long ago. Different accounts of what exactly happened down in the mirror of the gym in that one. But, you know, the one constant seems to be that Frank Martin did hit Javante Davis with something big, something Tank admits to himself. And then things got very heated. You know, Davis wanted to take the gloves off, supposedly. You know, he chased, chased after Frank in the ring. He said Frank got scared. You know, obviously, Frank Martin says that's nonsense, that he wanted to keep a professional. But whatever the case may be, there is history between these two. There is some bad blood. And frankly, while I don't care all that much about what happened in sparring, it nonetheless does go to highlight that Frank Martin can certainly get under Javante Davis's skin here, uh, potentially for straight him in the fight as well. Um, you know, it's outside of that, though. Look, just in terms of skills, Frank Martin is an elite inside fighter. Uh, fantastic inside the pocket. He's got good lateral movement on the outside as well, which should give Davis plenty of problems in this one. He doesn't like fighters pivoting off to the side. And Frank Martin's power is no joke either. You know, Martin might even be the heaviest-handed fighter that Javante Davis has faced up to this point, you know, with both hands, you know, not the scouting Ryan Garcia's left hook, obviously. So I'm expecting a terrific matchup in this one. There are obviously some negatives to Frank's game, though. Um, he can sometimes be a little overzealous on offense. He can get caught with a turn fire. Um, you know, sometimes when he's probing for those openings and um, taking away the lead hand on an opponent, he does tend to leave that unguarded hand free of his opponent. And you can imagine that's probably not the best thing to do against a power puncher like Javante Davis. But by the same token, look, Frank Martin is a fast switch counter puncher himself. Um, you know, able to lean back on that left leg, deliver some serious damage. So Davis also needs to be careful about overextending in this one. You know, Frank Martin stopped Jackson Marinez in their fight two years ago. Marinez, whatever you may think about the Richard Comet performance, you know, he's a very, very high-level technical boxer. That Rolly Romero decision was an absolute farce, basically. And Frank Martin showed his power in that fight. Absolutely crunched up Marinez's face with a brutal right hook late on, and then went in effectively as an even money pick in his next fight against Michelle Rivera. Um, that was Christmas to me. I think I had a 4% play up at Wager Talk on that fight. I think Frank was around the minus 120 mark on that one as well that I got him. But uh, I seen a far bigger gap. I didn't see them as equal at all. 
uh, like I said, fire on that. And, you know, Frank Martin dominated that fight as well, got the, got the knockdown as well. So, you know, like I said before, um, if you are looking for negatives, there are some. Frank can get caught. He can be hit. He doesn't have an extended resume of fighting southpaws either. So Tank has more experience in that department. And, you know, you could make the case that Frank didn't look particularly great against Harold Union uh, last time out as well. But I personally believe Frank Martin is a big-time fighter. You know, if he's not facing the elite, he kind of takes his foot off the gas a little bit. But uh, that won't be the case this weekend. There's no question he'll be showing up to this fight, the biggest fight of his career so far. And he faces a fighter in Davis who has his own negative checkpoints. It's not all good news for Davis either. Yes, he is one of the most elite in the sport. He has incredible accuracy, pinpoint timing, one-punch knockout power. He really does have it all. But the fact is he can be outworked in fights. You know, Isaac Cruz was outworking him for large stretches of their fight. Tank Davis throws the second fewest punches per round of any fighter in the entire sport as well. You know, in that Isaac Cruz fight, Mayweather had to GM up later on in that fight to come out and actually win it. So, um, you know, that comes as no surprise. Um, you know, when, you, when you've got that kind of power like Deontay Wilder as well, like Zile Zhang, you know, they tend to be lower volume. But, you know, in my opinion, that level of inactivity will cost you at some point. You just can't afford to be giving away rounds expecting to KO somebody. Um, and I'm willing to take a shot at these sorts of odds uh, on, especially a fighter as technically proficient as Frank Martin, that, you know, that could be this weekend. You know, great lateral movement, as I said, elite level inside game. Highly unlikely he'll be caught up, you know, pinned against the ropes. A lot of Davis's previous victims get pinned up against the ropes from his pressure. Uh, I don't believe that'll be Frank Martin this weekend. And look, and Derek James, he's got one of the best in the business in his corner as well, coming up with a game plan. So Tank Davis, look, he could certainly end this fight with one shot. We've seen it so many times before um, from Javante Davis. But a plus 475, plus 530 if you shop around, I just can't be having that. That line to me is far, far too disrespectful on Frank Martin. Frank Martin is a top, top level operator. And in my opinion, you know, like I said, those lateral movement skills, that, that ability to pivot out um, from his lead inside game, uh, I think he could frustrate Davis in this one. And as long as he's patient, as long as he keeps probing, you know, that you can also get plus 750 on Martin to win this one by decision. Uh, that's also another good shout. But for the purpose of this video, because Frank carries power as well, I'm just going to take Frank Martin simply to win here, plus 475. That's just far too big, in my opinion, like I said. And I'll be taking a shot with the Ghost uh, to get his hand raised this weekend in what would be a, a huge upset in Las Vegas. Best bet. So don't forget to let me know what you guys think down in the comments section below. Will Frank Martin's defensive liabilities, and he does have a few, end up costing him in this one? Or can the Ghost pull off a shock? upset this weekend in vegas let me know what you guys think down below and as always don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so it's very much appreciated and until next time best of luck on all your bets